Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about the Whippet. The Whippet is a lean, muscular, athletic dog. They balance muscular strength and power with grace and elegance, being built for speed and work. Their coats are fine and short and come in a wide variety of colors and mixes of colors. Whippet History and Origins the Whippet was once referred to as the poor man's greyhound, and that described them well. They were developed in the 19th century by miners in the north of England who couldn't afford to keep a greyhound so they invented their own smaller, less costly version. Records of these breedings weren't kept, but depending on who you believe, they were either progressive breedings of smaller greyhounds or else Italian greyhounds crossed with Manchester terriers with back breeding to greyhounds. However, they were largely used for the sport of competitive rabbit killing. Rabbits would be released and the first dog to make a kill one. This permitted the miners to engage in gambling with little cost. When cruel sports were banned, they turned to rag, racing where a cloth was dragged in a straight line and the dogs would race. These two sports gave rise to the Whippet's other names. These names were Snap Dog and Lighting Rag Dog. Today the Whippet has won fans all over the world as a gentle companion dog. Whippet Personality The Whippet is a gentle, patient, tolerant, and affectionate dog. Although they are competitive when on the chase, they are adaptable and quiet dogs. They can be highly strung and need understanding from their owners. Loving to their family, they make rewarding companions in the right home. Who is best suited to a Whippet? Whippets are often best suited to senior citizens. This is due to their willingness to simply trot when it comes to their exercise needs. They are also a very calm and quiet dog who will sit with their owners for long periods. What about kids? Due to their nature, whippets can get along very well with children. Whippets generally dow well with children of all ages. However, they do prefer slightly older children who won't be tempted to pull at their tail and ears. Health and common issues. The Whippet dog breed is generally a relatively healthy breed. They do, however, suffer from a few widely recognized breed-specific health problems. These include Addison's disease, arthritis, deafness, drug sensitivity, heart murmurs, heart problems, hypothyroidism, kidney issues, vaccination sensitivity, von Willebrandt's disease, low odor level, whippets generally tend to not give off much of a smell. Many whippet owners claim they give off no smell at all. Personally, we think all dogs give off an odor to some degree. However, it's pretty much accepted that whippets do not give off the typical dog smell when you enter their home. Drooling levels. Whippets have very low to almost non-existent drooling levels. If you are looking for a pooch who doesn't drool and slobber everywhere then a whippet would be a great choice. Whippet exercise needs. Whippets are capable of short, sharp bursts of fast running but are spirited enough to spend a long day of exercise if required. They will be happy to walk or jog with their owners. Although in need of daily exercise, they are not too demanding. An hour's exercise is needed, as a rough guide, for an adult. Whippets love to run. Finding an enclosed local area where they can do that will keep them happy. Space requirements. While whippets need space to run so daily exercise is needed. In the home, however, they are happy whatever its size as long as there is a comfy sofa for them to spend their days. They do need access to outdoor space for toileting and daily exercise. Whippet nutrition and feeding. A whippet's diet needs to have the right balance of all the main nutrient groups including a constant supply of fresh water. It's also important to conduct regular body condition scores to ensure you keep your dog in ideal shape. Remember to feed him at least twice daily and in accordance with the feeding guidelines of their particular food. Grooming whippets. 
The Whippet dog breed benefits from regular grooming but care must be taken to use soft brushes and gentle handling. A Whippet's coat and skin is very fine and sensitive. Any shampoo used should be gentle without harsh ingredients, as these may cause reactions with their sensitive skin. Whippet shedding. Whippets are generally low shedders. Whippets don't shed excessively, and weekly brushing will help keep loose hair off your clothes and furniture. Training Whippets. Like most sight hounds, Whippets rather look down on training, but they can learn basic obedience and should be taught to walk on a harness and lead. Effort should be made to teaching them a good recall, although this shouldn't be relied upon as the thrill of the chase can often mean their owner is temporarily forgotten. If you own cats, finding a puppy from a breeder who has reared them with cats will help. If not, spend time teaching your puppy that the cat isn't a chase toy. Whippets however may never be safe with other cats or small animals. Are Whippets good family dogs? Whippets make wonderful family dogs as they are gentle and kind, but they also like peace and quiet, so a noisy boisterous house will not be good for them. While many dogs are traditionally thought of as being good with children, all dogs and children need to be taught to get on with and respect each other and be safe together. Even so, dogs and young children should never be left alone together and adults should supervise all interactions between them. Do they make good guard dogs? Whippets do not make good guard dogs. The main reason for this is that they have a very low tendency to bark. If you are looking for a dog to guard your home or alert you when a stranger is around then a whippet would be a poor choice. Mouthiness. Whippets have a higher than average tendency to nip, chew, play bite, or herd people. It's a common habit during puppyhood, not aggressive behavior. These bites don't hurt, but whippets need to be taught a good attitude. Whippet prey drive. Despite coming across as quite timid, the whippet has a high prey drive. Whippets have a high impulse to chase and catch something. Cats or any other small animals are in danger. It's a natural instinct, doesn't necessarily mean that whippet dogs are aggressive. Better to keep this breed on a leash. Whippets and other pets. Whippets do best when they're the only pet in the family. If they are introduced as new puppies to other animals then they could be fine. Introducing new animals or other dogs to a mature whippet in its own home generally isn't advised. Whippet life expectancy. Whippets have a favorable lifespan of 12 to 15 years on average. So that brings us to the end of some of the pros and cons concerning a whippet. It may be a good idea to watch this video a few times. Take some notes even. Choosing to bring a dog into your HOMW is a huge decision for both you and the dog. Use this video to help make the right choice. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.